killings of some young hoodlums. Stay tuned. Police, Remy Blumenfeld reports it all started when a pet rabbit was kidnapped from its pen. It is a case that got Kenilworth police detectives hopping. This is Smokey, a two-month-old Palomino rabbit. And these are Smokey's owners, six-year-old Michelle Rizzo, eight-year-old Joseph Rizzo, and big sister Annie, who's ten. It all looks very serene right now, but this pretty picture was shattered Sunday morning when Annie discovered her bunny missing from his hutch. I came outside and I looked in the cage and I saw that the bunny wasn't there. Moments later, Michelle came running down. In the hutch, she found not Smokey, but a note made from newspaper clippings. I went by um, his cage and then I saw the note. I opened the cage up and I took the note out. This is a copy of the ransom note little Michelle found in Smokey's cage. It reads, if you ever want to see your stupid rabbit alive again, leave $50 in an envelope under the railroad crossing sign behind your house. Cover it with the rock with the X on it. Do this Sunday, May 1st at 5 o'clock. Well, little Michelle told her parents, and they immediately told the guy who lives across the street, Kenilworth Police Chief Charles David. He, in turn, sent a team of detectives to work on the puzzling case. Detective Dowd instructed the Rizzo children to go to the ransom spot with the money. Fifty big ones in non-sequential photocopied bills. We watched the location and after 40 minutes observed two youths approach and take the envelope and run away. The two boys, aged 14 and 15, led police to a third culprit. But even after four days, Detective Dowd says he still can't live down the arrest. Pictures of rabbits left in my mailbox at my house. Uh, it was a poem sent to me at work today, this morning. Uh, I picked up the phone first thing this morning when I came to work and somebody was playing uh, Peter Rabbit. The three boys were charged with theft of a rabbit and then released to the custody of their parents. As for Smokey, he was found in a large cardboard box at one of the boys' houses. But not to worry. Right now, as you can see, he's back where he belongs. No worse for wear after his traumatic ordeal. In Kenilworth, New Jersey, I'm Rainy Blumenfeld for the News at 10. I see you've made some signs for him, eh? Mm -hmm. Welcoming him home. He looks very happy now. Sure, glad to hear he's safe and sound. That's it for this edition of the News at 10. I'm Jennifer Velocity. And I'm Van Hackett. We'll see you again tomorrow on the News at Noon. Until then, have a pleasant evening. Good night. Good night. Little girls have Smokey back safe and sound. They're recovering from their hair-raising experience. So terrible. They wanted $50 for 50 that rabbit. 50 bucks for that yeah. rabbit. Coming up on the news at noon.